Hi guys. Uh, welcome to another art class, Clad Art Class. So today we're going to take a look at a painting by this guy. Anybody remember who he is? Any ideas? Mm, Vincent. Van. Yeah, Gough. Vincent van Gogh. Um, so this is Vincent van Gogh, who was a Dutch painter in the 19th century. A very famous Dutch painter whose paintings are now priceless. Um, and Vincent van Gogh, as lots of you who attend the Clad Art classes will know, was a very insular, isolated kind of a man and was very poor um, while he was alive. So his paintings are priceless now, but nobody paid him any money for his paintings or very little money for his paintings when he was alive. He lived very much on his own and had very little contact with people. And the way we kind of describe that in the Clada art classes is that he didn't like people very much. Not that he had a dislike for individuals or people. He just liked to be on his own, mostly. Um, and that's cool. So um, this is actually a portrait of himself. So it's what you would know as a, yeah, self-portrait. Um, and Van Gogh is very famous for his use of colour. He's very famous or the way his colour isn't about the realistic colour that something appears in front of you, but it's about the mood that the artist has or is in when they make the painting, or the mood that the artist is trying to convey or express in the painting. So uh, this painting, what kind of mood do you think Mr Van Gogh might be trying to convey in this painting? Is it a sad mood? A happy mood? Excited? Somber? What do you think? We don't actually know, you know, there are no facts around these things um, because we don't get to talk to the artists and people didn't really record the information like that in those days because we are talking about the um, early 1900s and Typical me, I am useless at my date, so I'm going to pause this and go get my dates and come back to you. The fact that I know that Vincent van Gogh was alive and working in the early 1900s um, and, and yet cannot tell you the dates he was born, the date he died, or the date of any of his paintings isn't because I'm particularly silly or not very intelligent. Um, it has something to do with not being able to retain figures, uh, numbers, I mean. And I think it's probably a form of dyscalculia, which is a form of dyslexia, as far as I understand. So those of you who know me and attend my classes in real life and school will know she never remembers her dates. She has to go to the book to check them all the time. So here in my little notebook, I have the dates that I wrote when I was planning this class. So Vincent van Gogh was born in 1853 and he died in 1890. So when I say the early 1900s, what I meant was the 19th century. Sorry. 19th century. Um, so he was born in 1853 and died in 1890. So Vincent van Gogh hasn't been around for well over 100 years. And yet this painting is quite contemporary in that it's kind of a modern looking painting. It doesn't look very old, I think. And um, so the interesting thing for me in this painting is the way I think the colours look quite sombre and reflective. Um, a little bit sad around the eyes maybe and what I'm fascinated with in Van Gogh is the way his colours are just so so exaggerated but beautiful you know like those dark blues you'd see underneath eyes um, and the way he's kind of exaggerated that into a turquoise and an almost a lime green um, and his he did have gingery red hair so yeah he would have had red hair but it wouldn't be bright orange like this so I love the way he exaggerates his colors so let's move on to the actual piece of work that we're going to look at today so this is the piece of work that Vincent van Gogh painted that we're going to take a look at today any ideas what it might be yeah it's a vase of sunflowers although the sunflower can be kind of hard to see in it you can see the idea of the back of the sunflower here and a few petals. 
you can see lots of centers of sunflowers, but very few with their full set of petals on them. There's one with some petals on it. There's another one with some petals. So this painting called Sunflowers was actually painted, and you'll see I'm looking down to check my book, in 1888, two years before he died. Now, Van Gogh is famous for his colors being an expression of the mood that he's in or the mood he's trying to express in the image. And I think in this one, it's quite somber. It's not, you know, like the bright, sunny, some summertime sunflowers. Um, it's quite somber. But I also think it's kind of interesting because he hasn't made the pretty, pretty sunflowers. He's made the sunflowers or painted the sunflowers as he can actually see them in front of him. Vincent van Gogh comes from a period in art called Expressionism. And expressionism, he'd be one of the pioneers of expressionism. And it's about expressing your feelings or expressing who you are or what you're about through your painting. And therefore, the, the image that's in front of us is quite kind of old and falling apart. And um, that's very cheery kind of limp and maybe that's how he was at the time it's the, currently it's the season for planting sunflowers which is the reason why we're looking at sunflowers also some of the children in some of, in one of your classes is uh, have been planting sunflowers so that's the other reason why we're looking at sunflowers today now when we're looking at our sunflowers today we're not actually going to make a painting we're going to make some sunflowers from toilet roll holders and newspaper so here comes the video on how to do that so now that you have the information on why we're doing this, let's move on to the video on how to make some sunflowers out of paper and toilet rolls. There's two sheets of paper, two toilet rolls. Now, in this, I'm kind of drawing the lines, but that's really for junior children who might need pointers as to how far up to go, um, or senior children wouldn't need that. So this is just um, cutting with the scissors up to that line. idea. And then you bend each of them back. Handy pincer action there to build your hand strength. And you make two of them. And in one of them, just in one of them, you make a slit up, up the side. And that's so that you can make it smaller. So you close that cylinder a little bit smaller and then it fits inside the other cylinder. Now you could always curve off the top of these petals. You know, you could play with the shape of the petals a lot more too. They don't need to be straight lines. I've just kind of done them in the most basic way. There you go. So that's the, basically the petals of a sunflower. I don't know why I'm showing you that again. So we'll just skip that bit. So then with the newspaper, Bunch it up. Magic newspaper. Fold it in half and then fluff out. So you get kind of twists and rolls in the paper. And push that through the center. From the back to the front. 
there you go. So there's that nice kind of center that you get in a sunflower. It's a bit too long though, it's usually flatter, so I think I want to trim that now. Oh no, I pushed it in, maybe. No, I did. Where is it? Okay. The second piece of paper is actually just to lengthen the stem, so that you have that little bit of short stem coming out the back. But you'll want a longer stem. Put that one inside the other, twist them together, and there you go. And there you go, sister. So there's one I've made already in a vase. One of the reasons they're in the vase is kind of easier to paint them in a vase. I'm sure I trimmed that center. Yes, that's what I'm going to do now. Trim the center. What's the center of a sunflower called actually? That lovely brown, kind of speckledy. Oh, that's called. I must look that up. Maybe you could look that up and find out what's the center of the sunflower called. Now, when you're painting the sunflower, the paper is all irregular. So for the center, you literally stab it all in. Using brown that you've made together, made yourself would be better. The brown that you make yourself is much nicer than anything you'd buy in a pot, in a, in a bottle. Um, and for those of you who don't remember, it's red, yellow, and blue. And if you mix them together reasonably equally, you'll get a nice brown. Play with how equally they need to be. And then using a yellow, we paint the petals. Now I'm just using poster paint for these, um, just because that's what I have in the house. But you can use acrylic, you can use anything. Um, acrylic paint, now that I say that, you couldn't use watercolour paint really. You don't need to see me paint that because you're able to do that. I think I got lost in the painting. I was enjoying it too much. Yeah, moving to the back to do some green then. So the green, again, making your own green is always better. Blue and yellow, just in case you forget. Um, and paint the back of the sunflower. And again, you don't need to see all of that. There you go. There's some sunflowers. So there you go, there's our sunflowers, and that's you can make as many sunflowers as you like. So that's our response to Van Gogh's sunflower painting made in 1888. See you next time. Bye.